Guys, today we're gonna be getting to know how a bit more. You're actually entertaining, like in Am your I? own little way. Like I wouldn't say you're like funny, like ah, I'm okay. laughing. Calm down, yeah. My surname yeah. sounds Spanish. This oh. guy's the one who messaged me saying he wants to collab. <laughs> Did you uh, use chat GPT? No. Okay. Did a part of you think, oh, this guy just wants to like just chat to me? Don't want to this whip reverse. What's all the rest we pull up and burn? These GTCs don't mileage, really can't afford to crash and burn. Can I bend down and black your back? Feel free, free, that's all I tap. This night to fleece you jumpy, your rebo, trust me, don't. Guys, please take five seconds out of your time to like this video. It's really, really important and it allows my videos to reach other people. The moment I get 5,000 likes, I promise you guys a brand new video will come out. So 5,000 likes, brand new video every single time. Thank you. Cheers, Strawberry Daiquiri. We are in the barn. What's good, Odie and Gang? I'm back again. But this time, we've got Howard again. Hi. This is going to be out of hand. Why do you keep following me everywhere? <laughs> you keep following oh, me. Let me breathe. Like, what I'm do you mean? Living my life by myself. What like, you, this oh. guy's the one who messaged me saying he wants to collab. <laughs> the message Same. was so professional, though. Mm -hmm. I replied professionally too, though, didn't I? Yeah, no, I've kept a profession ever since. Yeah, no? did you did you uh, use Chat GPT? No. Okay. <laughs> Why would you think I use Chat GPT? I only just found out about Chat GPT like a week ago, actually. A week? Yeah, I didn't know where it was until I spoke Crazy. to one of my friends in America and she told me that she does like all her emails with it. Guys, today we're going to be getting to know how a bit more just to give you guys a bit more insight because I got to say, obviously, I say this all the time in the vlog, but you're actually entertaining, like in okay. your own little way. Like, I wouldn't say you're like funny, like, ah, I'm okay, just laughing, calm down. Yeah, let's not get carried away. But you are entertaining your own little way. And I just feel like the viewers probably want to know a lot more about you and myself, obviously, because it's been a while I've done a QA. So, what we're gonna do in a second after you like, comment, and subscribe, also check out Howard's channel. And um, we should hopefully be expecting a vlog there soon. We're gonna do one question at a time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start with a question, very okay. simple question. Um, what country are you from? I'm Guinean and Sri Leonean from the Fulani tribe. I'd say I'm close to my Guinea side. I was born in Austria in Vienna. Some people don't know where that is, but it's where Hitler was born, essentially. Oh, she loves throwing this, <laughs> this fact into the air. And then Hitler moved to Germany to rule them, basically. When did you learn this? What you, I'm Austrian, so we learn it there, and we learn it in school too. Oh, okay. Another question. I'm going to ask you a few questions first before you okay. get the chance to ask me. What do you do for a living? What do I do for like, a what's living? Your, what's your occupation? Occupation? Right now, I'd say I'm just a student who does um, food reviews. Okay. And I'm also about to start um, my lashing business. But yeah, that's what I'd say I do for a living right now. Okay. Um, my final question before you can ask me is what is your dream destination to travel? I wouldn't say it's a dream destination, but it's somewhere I want to go. Yeah, what's the place? Um, Thailand. Because oh, okay. we've got nice elephants and that's I really your, like that's elephants, dream. guys. She yeah. literally told me the other day if, she was to, if you were to become any other animal. I'd be an elephant. elephant. Yeah. Anyway, feel free to ask me any question you might cool, have. So, what would you say you do for a living? Like? Um, I think my main source of income, mm -hmm. like financially, is rental services. Yeah. So renting cars and properties and um, cameras on different platforms. Where I spend most of my time is on social media, content creating, mm -hmm. YouTube, working with Boohoo brands and so many other things. But I'd say I'm a, I'm a full-time hustler. That's just what it is. That's about it. Okay, how many languages do you speak? Yoruba. Yeah. English. Yeah. And like 10% Spanish. Okay. But obviously, I always say this to people. They don't believe me in this. Mm -hmm. You might not believe me either, innit? So my, my surname yeah. sounds Spanish. Stop the cap. So I, I, I feel like deep down, somewhere down like in the roots, I have like a bit of Spanish and French in me, but you know. It does it, guys. I probably do, you, you don't you know. probably do. How many languages can you speak? Okay, so German, English obviously, Fulani. Well, I don't speak Creole, but I can understand it. Because Guinea is Francophone, I can understand a little bit of French. Hey, what would you say your biggest ick in a guy is? Ooh, um, I think when they say they're going to do something and they don't. That's an ick. Yeah, do you not? Basically, false promises. Yeah, like false promises in general, like from people, but. Okay. 
What about you? I think I just I can't stand girls that and I think I've said it so many times, but girls that dance, like like not just normal dancing. <laughs> yeah. Like girls that like do leg works in the club or in the party. Oh, oh my god. god. I can actually throw up like and then okay. eat my throat and throw up again. Like that's how bad I hate it. I can't stand it. Are you looking at me because you do that? No, I can't even dance. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> we are not allowing leg work to occur over here. But I wanna times. learn how to do leg work. So are you gonna do it in the club? <laughs> no. I'm so shy for that. Good, because that was, we're just getting people off with. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> no, we don't want to. Also, basically, <laughs> I was telling him, when I'm on um, the tube, I don't know what to do with my hands. Like, do I sit like this or... I just don't know. So I just, like, th like this. Yeah. Which is scary. It's not scary. I th guys, I told her that if I was a guy and I saw her in a train, and like, oh, who's that cute girl? Oh, my God, I want to get to... The and then I see this. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I'm literally taking it in the next ride. I don't ride. think it's that bad. Um, I want to know, what's your favourite food? Ooh, I've got loads. One. Okay, I love jollof rice. That's your favourite? The Senegalese one though. Wow. Um, That's a... Nigerian one is calm, but I prefer the Senegalese one. Um, you lost all the Nigerian food. I like... <laughs> <laughs> cool. I also like... Well, it's from Ivory Coast, but it's eaten in different countries. It's called Acheke. Achake? Achake. The concert. Well, there that, you go. No. <laughs> the musician. That's how I pronounce Achake. it like, in my in my language. Achake. Achake. That's it. So I your also favorite? like Pound the Jam and Negussi. My mum makes it. Would you, but, say that, would you say that's top five? Yeah. Oh, really? I like the way my mum makes it though. Oh, okay. I feel like, yeah. things, like things like Swallow is always better homemade like yeah. anywhere else. Because so my okay. mum's Nigerian friends taught her so. In a week, no, in a month, being a girl is expensive, obviously. We know this. Ooh, Everybody yeah. says that. How much do you think you spend on maintenance? Per month? Per month, yeah. Mm, I actually should not calculate it, you know. I'd Let's say try calculate now. my nails, so hands and toes. These these were done in Peckham, don't like them. She does a package for like 60 or 70. I don't get my eyebrows done frequently, but sometimes I'll get them done. And, and how stuff. much do you pay for that? 20, I think. Hair? Hair, okay, but I don't. Bad bundles all the time. Okay, cool. But well, hair is like up to like three to four hundred, like. Okay. That's okay. minus the but, install, okay. like if if I was to go get installed. So we can't really add that. So would you say like practically like monthly max a hundred pounds for like Maybe, nails? Maybe no more than a hundred pounds. Maybe one eighty. So okay, it's so like one eighty. Yeah. Two bills max. Yeah, two bills max. That's it. Okay, cool. Me. So what I was your that. favorite like cartoon growing up? Cheddington, I love that so much. Yeah, I never watched that. I know that's, gonna, that's not a lot of people's favourite, but I think when I finally could afford um, Disney Channel. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we was, on, we was on Sky and we didn't have Sky Plus. So well, I used I to had, watch. Okay, but... Well, you have got, you didn't, what did you have? I had Disney Channel, I used to watch Disney Channel. Yeah, you grew up rich, it's different for, I, all, for I us. Okay, whatever. Yeah, we could, I couldn't afford, we couldn't afford that. So I used to watch the free things like CDBs, CBBC pop. Um, I used to watch that too, though. But like, it was like when there was nothing good on Disney <laughs> Channel, right? He just came to join us. <laughs> but when I find you got Disney Channel, I love Phineas and Ferb. That's one of my favorite. Mm. Yeah, I love that. If you were in a relationship and someone said, "Oh, I'm outside in five minutes," are you the type to like be ready in five minutes, or are you like, "Oh, give me a minute"? I'm the one that would be like, "Give me a minute." But are you the type to say, "I want a guy that's gonna be like be outside"? Yeah, Why do you girls easy. do that then? Because we still need time to get ready and stuff though. So you'd like a guy that would be like, oh. Okay, maybe give me a heads up, like, okay. Um, I'm going to be there in 30. Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. What is your dream career? Like, if money didn't matter mm -hmm. at all. Um, I think like something to do with kids, like, mm. like a baby daycare or something. Like, would you like want to own like it? Toddlers, yeah. Like the owner of it, but you yeah. still like participate. Yeah, basically. That's cute. What about then, you? So obviously, I obviously I'm, I'm a psychologist, a psychology graduate. Mm -hmm. But I think my dream is to like when I'm like fully clear from like businesses, mm -hmm. just be at home, but like taking clients coming to like Ooh. my house. Because I definitely do want to help people like psychologically. Because sometimes in this life, the most important thing is your mental health. That's so true. Yeah, that's like my dream if I was to get a job. But really and truly, I just wouldn't want to work. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do you see yourself doing YouTube forever on that? I think forever is an overstatement, mm -hmm. but I, I, I see myself doing it for a very long time. Yeah. I think 
I will do it to the point where my audience will see my kids. Ooh, my audience okay. will see me growing up. Like they'll, they'll see a difference in me. Mm -hmm. But I'm already, they kind of already have, and it's just good to see people see me grow. What made you want to start Explore Power? Okay, so... You're I've... going for that question, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so I've always had a thing for like mukbangs. I used to watch them all the time when I was younger. And I always had a feeling I was going to do YouTube anyways. Mm. I just felt like I wasn't experiencing life like that. I just felt like I should go out more with my friends to eat or like do activities with them. Yeah. Because I don't want to look back on life and be like, what have I actually done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because at the time when I started, well, a couple of months before, mm. um, I was a little depressed and I just didn't have like, like things I used to do, yeah. I didn't find joy in them anymore. Yeah. So I started Explore Power. That makes sense. Yeah. So it's like a way of you to get outside and do yeah. things that you'd want to do and also make, create content with it. Yeah, I enjoy like doing Explore Power. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, so what made you want to collab with me? And another question I'll ask you too. When you like DM'd me, mm -hmm. you know, asking to collaborate, I was under the impression it would just be like a one-time thing. Mm -hmm. Like at the time, did you only expect it to be a one-time thing or did you wanna like... Keep filming. Yeah, if that makes sense. Um, obviously, I think for me, one thing I'm trying to do now on my channel without having to say it to them, because I feel like when you, when you announce it, people mm -hmm. don't really... But one thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do more like trying like different things, fun yeah. things, and just vlogging more things that I wouldn't normally do. So I think after we filmed, I filmed with my friend called Maya, like mm -hmm. really close. We went to go play tennis and I'll never play tennis on my channel, but obviously she's a dancer. Yeah. People don't really know her like that. Mm -hmm. So I just said, okay, Maya, let's go for a vlog. Like I did this kind of video with Howard. Let's go out. We do a nice vlog and then we play tennis and then just talk about yourself. So that's the kind of avenue I want to get into. Yeah. But when we linked up and we filmed, I think for me, it was the vibe was just chilled. There wasn't mm -hmm. pressure. It seemed like something I could do continuously, whether it you know had good views or bad views or whatever. It just seemed like something. And also, it's not it's not every day you find someone that's like on the same path as you in terms of like wanting to try. Because obviously, I'd be trying food for free and I'd be posting on my Snap. <laughs> yeah. So I might as well post it on my YouTube. So that's probably why I was on the impression of maybe we can do more than one. Yeah. And also, I have this like thing about me where I don't want to say I feel sorry for people because that's not the right way to put it. But I, when I see potential in people mm -hmm. I try my hardest to push them to do more and I felt like for you I see you like doing well on YouTube so I feel like the only way to continuously get you in that mindset is to continuously film with me but it doesn't have to be like forever yeah. it's just whenever the idea comes at least we know we have a good relationship and we can do it I didn't answer your first question why what made me want to do, um, yeah collaborate with I just me. saw you on TikTok <laughs> Yeah. That was I was just thought, and the things I didn't even use TikTok like that. Like the, the the rare moments that I use TikTok, I just see people throwing those bottles those down the bottles stairs. <laughs> my friends obsessed. That's with them. what I see on my TikTok, and then I just saw someone said, "Come try this with me." And I was like, "Okay." And then I, so I saw it, and I I genuinely wanted to try that. But I was like, you know what? I just kept watching more of the videos. Like, all right, I can start this thing that I want to start with mm -hmm. this girl. She seems like she's you know upcoming. It could make a lot of sense. And I just DM'd you, but dead ass, I didn't even think you was gonna respond. Not because, For real? yeah, not because I didn't think you'd you'd want to do it. I just felt like maybe that's just not your avenue. Maybe you were just happy you were just posting on TikTok. But it was like mm -hmm. a gamble, like, oh, let me just see if she's down to do it. Like, not that I was prepared waiting. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it was just like, let's just see what can happen. And then even when you replied, I didn't think the video was actually ever gonna happen. I just yeah. thought, cause I've, I've messaged so many people. There was a girl that I messaged that does like fitness. I went to like a fitness video. Mm -hmm. We had so much talks, it just never happened. So did a part of you think, oh, this guy just wants to like, just chat to me. No, not at all, you know. Okay. I didn't get that vibe at all. It's the way like, I there's been times, yeah, cause of, the, cause of how professional yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was talking about it to my friends, like, I just usually like, um, whenever I get a DM or like someone asking to collaborate with me, I just um, base it on the vibe I get as soon as I open yeah. the message or like after I read it. And I didn't have like any bad vibes and I was even telling my friends that. Yeah. They were like, cool, then I think you should go for it. There we go. Yeah, so I think that is all of the questions. You got any more for me? No. No? Why are you so razz? Oh, 
<laughs> What's new on this? Rap? Guys, I told this one word and she won't stop using it. But yeah, I mean, I hope you guys got to know a bit more of Hawa. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys follow her and follow me on everything. Like, comment, subscribe. We out. Bye, guys. Peace. We'll see you later. The one slap this whip reverse. What's all the gas we pull up and burn? Wow. This duty seized on mileage. Really can't afford to crash and burn. Tell them down and black your back. Still feel free, that's all I tap. This night, I fleece to jumpy. Your repo, trust me, don't.